Well, I came here totally unprepared for what was about to happen. I just caught one of the biggest smallmouth bass I've ever caught. Take a look at that fish. Holy crap. I don't have my GoPro. I have my telescope rod. I literally just caught him on like a Ned rig. He was on the bed. This is an absolute football of a smallmouth bass. Look how tiny that mouth is. Holy cow. Look at that fish. We're gonna be back here and we're gonna be all ready next time. I don't think that's my PB. My PB is, I'll put it right there, but it's dang close. You ready, girl? Ooh. Should have saw that thing jump out of the water like three feet. It just happened again. I came out here unprepared once again. Next time I'll bring my GoPro and I just caught an absolute chonker of a smallmouth bass. And I didn't bring a measurement, of course, but from for the trail it says the second letter on that second word so I'll measure that and see how many inches he is this definitely is longer than the one I caught last time maybe not heavier but it was on the bed and it came and ate my wacky rig hey old buddy oh that's a bad release now he's gonna explode everywhere there he goes he's good a little smaller than the last one I thought it was an absolute giant these things fight so hard compared to largemouth it's a hard fight but uh, we'll get him this is just one of those days that you will never forget. Another tank of a smallmouth, probably, I don't know, I'd say that's a little smaller than the first two giants of the video, but oh my goodness, on the wacky rig again. Yeah, it's like a little shorter than the R, so. But, there you go, buddy. And the last fish of the day is the biggest one I'm pretty sure I've ever caught. This might be my new PB. We're gonna try to measure it along the pole like we did before. It goes to the Z on the Ozark, so I'll see what that is. But this thing is absolutely huge. I wish I brought all my other stuff. This is a giant smallmouth bass. There we go. Alright, today we're going to finish off this smallmouth bass video and slay some river smallmouth. Finally brought the GoPro. Let's see what we can catch. Fish. There we go. The skunk is gone. It's tiny, but I'm just glad it didn't shake my hook and the skunk is now gone. Finally. All right, buddy. Fish. Nice. Finally. It has been forever. Oh, come on, buddy. There we go. Sad to say that that is the best one of the day. An absolute dink, like nine inches, but all the good fishing was when I didn't bring my GoPro, of course. Oh, we got a fish. Let's go. 
Holy cow. <laughs> A nice little smally. Not measurement or weight worthy. Hopper came right out. Alright buddy. Nice little smally. Oh, just splash my face. Another fish. This is better. This is better. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. Sorry, bud. Put in your gill, but... That is a nice little smallie for top water fishing. Let's go. Both of them on the popper. I think I called it the whopper popper before, but there we go. All right, it's a nice little smallie, probably 10, 10 and a half, 11 inches maybe. But um, we're getting up there in size. We're gonna hopefully get to our PB, which would be like a 13 plus inch smallie. So we'll get them back. I'm just gonna toss them because I'm not getting splashed in the face again. Almost just had another fish. Shoot. Of course, I was paying attention to a bird instead. We just missed it again. We got him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please don't come off. Ow, I'm hooked. Ow, I'm hooked. Holy sh I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Hold on. Oh, it came out. Okay, it wasn't past the barb. Holy cow, that's the best one of the day for sure. And you can see a little blood there. Don't demonetize this YouTube. But oh my goodness, he missed it and then he came back and got it. That was insane. That was insane. And then he hooked me. Thank the Lord that it did not go past the barb. I'm just going to try to get this out of his mouth now. 
All right, he definitely missed it for the first time. He came off and he came back and he got it. That was pretty epic. Probably can't see that in this dirty water, but that was pretty insane to say the least. We'll get him back. I'm gonna stop talking. And of course he pooped all over the camera and myself, my shirt. So that was awesome, but we're all cleaned up now and let's see if we can do that again on a bigger scale. I just need to make sure I can land a giant if I need to. So we're now attempting to cross this muddy rock sort of situation to get to that point over there. Oh. Okay. Definitely did not want to go in this nasty water. This river is insanely disgusting. But we tried. Dang it. There we go. It's a nice little smallie. Don't yet. All right. Okay. There he is. Nice light colored one. Just bumped into my feet. And we did it. <sighs> Holy cow, we did it. <sighs> oh, I thought we weren't recording for a second. All right, on the popper. Pretty much all topwater fish today. That's pretty cool. All righty. That's all I wanted. One last fish for this giant expedition. It has been days of getting skunked, days of success without the GoPro, and we finally ended it off with another topwater smallie. Not big, not giant, but I'm just glad I can go home now. Alrighty. This is all worth it. This is all worth it. And there's tiny leeches all over my feet now from that mud. Please give this video a like. This was hard work. <laughs>